Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kylie. This is the premier place for makeup effects, skincare, and positive mindset, all from a woman of color's perspective. And in today's video, uh, it's kind of going to be talking about what's been going on lately, the Black Lives Movement. And this is really important to me because it doesn't only just affect me, it affects family, friends of mine, and just moving forward, you know, I want children one day, it's gonna affect them as well. And it's really important that reform and change happen in our society, America, because we can't be moving forward like this. And that's what all the protests and all of that is saying. So first and foremost, I'm going to just let you guys know, it's also in the description, what I am ethnically. I know I don't owe anybody anything, but it, it helps sort of paint the narrative from my perspective. This is all just from my perspective. I am black, African American, Native American, and European, British, as far as I know. Um, I have a lot of other things going on, but until I do that 23andMe, that is all I know right now. And growing up in a predominantly white area, uh, going to school there, I always felt like a fish out of water. I was raised to speak well and education was super important in my family and talking on the phone you wouldn't know what my race was and I to some extent was probably banking on that to help prepare my, uh, propel myself forward which is sad now that I'm older and I think about it because it shouldn't matter but I knew that it did. Let's see. Growing up, I was stopped multiple times by the police. They were asking me if I was violating my parole. What am I doing? Where am I going? Where do I work? Where do I live? And I always had this kind of caution whenever I was dealing with the police or ever saw a cop car kind of a fight or flight response because I didn't want to do anything that would end my life. And I feel like that kind of anxiety has been heightened more so now, sadly. I mean, 2020, you would think that we would be beyond this, but it is clear that we're not. But I am very, very hopeful because of all the all my friends and everybody who are banding together and being anti-racist and speaking up and and backing us up saying that you know we will not take this anymore we want reform we want a whole kind of revamp of how the system works because this systemic racism has to stop it has to stop there's no room for it there's no place for it and and it just needs to go some of the things um I was called growing up would be an Oreo, um, goody goody, because I'm not talking hood. I talk very well, therefore, you know, I must be too good for something. And even doing, uh, you know, princess parties and things like that, being kind of racially ambiguous and being able to play multiple roles, I was asked, and I know that she didn't, you know, mean anything terrible or hurtful by it, but it still sort of affected me, affects me to this day, of how dark do I get to play a role when I know for a fact that Disney hires multiple races to play, and this is the, for the role of Jasmine, multiple kinds of Jasmine. And there are women who put a lot of bronzer on themselves to be sort of dark to play this role. And in my head, I was, I don't know, I, it, was, it just 
I was like, do, does everybody get asked this question? Like, how light do you get if you want to play Snow White? Are you gonna are you gonna tan too much? Like, is this a normal question? And obviously, it's not. But knowing that this is just one of many kind of nonchalant things that are happening in our society is one of the reasons why we need to wake up to it, have those uncomfortable conversations and get past it so that they don't continue. So why representation matters so much, I feel is because when you see somebody that looks like you, it gives you more reason to believe that you can do what that person is doing. And for me personally, I love cosplay. Um, I love dressing up like characters and I want others who look like me to know that that's okay. And to, to just go out and do it and not think about what other people will, will do or say and just do it because it feels good and you enjoy it. So I feel represent representation matters for that. It also matters for me as an FX makeup artist because it's something that I really, really love doing. I love being on set. I just light up. It fills me with so much joy. But I also know that there's not many female African-American and or mixed women that are very prominent in the effects makeup world and even knowing that why can't that be me why can't i be one of those you know one of those people and i feel like that's really really important because talking to mentors and things like that they'll say well if you want to you know get into hair and doing all of these various things you can get a lot of work and that's great but that's not what i want to do that's not where my heart is I want to do makeup and so that's what I'm gonna do and that's kind of like that's been propelling me forward and I I feel that we all need to just be lifting each other up and creating opportunities for one another to really succeed so this whole Black Lives Matter movement it's not political for me it's my life it's my family's life, it's my friend's life, my future children's lives. And I don't like that it's also trying to be used as a political tool. Me and those who look like me deserve to live in an America that we were promised. We're reform goes farther than just a smack on the hand where actual justice can take place. And it shouldn't be harder to become a cosmetologist than a police officer. Cosmetologist is 1600 hours, I believe. I'm not one esthetician, it's less 600 hours. So, cosmetologist is 1600 hours. Police officer is like 700 or 800 hours. That should make somebody think. So, I do not think that all cops are bad. I do not think that all cops are bad. What I do think is that we need a drastic reform or defund the police meaning allocating various funds from the police to other avenues so that they can take care of what they need to take care of and we have other entities other avenues put in place that can handle these calls so that you don't have to have all of these unnecessary deaths we need to stop dying and i definitely want to take a moment to thank all of my friends and all of the people who are educating themselves and having the uncomfortable conversations and learning and growing and humbling themselves and opening their hearts to recognizing where mistakes are being made 
and moving forward, not making those mistakes again and adding that awareness because that is so important that everybody use their platforms to continue to promote the movement because it doesn't end here. This is a starting point and it is a continual journey. So continue to support black owned businesses and lift each other up. And let's continue to hold the corporations accountable for the diversity reforms that they say that they are making. Because if we do not hold them accountable, all of this is gonna just repeat itself and we are so tired of it. Continue to be anti-racist raise voices, lift up each other and use your platforms for positivity so that we can move forward in a positive way. And as such, I am promoting my friend's brand. This is Bad Kitty. They make really comfortable, great apparel. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Definitely check them out. And this hat I forgot the name of, but I'll leave the description box below. This is not a black owned business, but this is. Um, I love promoting all of my artist friends and, and what have you. And my hair is not looking great. And this is the only hat I could find in a, in a quick jam. So that's why there it is. But yes, check out my friend's clothing line, Bad Kitty. Amazing, very comfortable. And as always, I'm trying to help you guys look good in every shade, every shade of life. Thank you for watching and listening, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.